What's up, stainless lovers? It's Steve from Made In. Today, we are talking about the workhorse of the kitchen, stainless clad, and it will last for a lifetime, but only if you treat it right. Cue the music. For this, you'll need baking soda, vinegar, soap, and a sponge with an abrasive side. If you're a subscriber, you already know we talked about how to clean these things after you're done cooking. This is not that video. This is about general maintenance and things to look out for. First pan we have here has a lot of mineral deposits that are caked on. Now, we have very hard water here. You could have that as well, so it could look familiar. Not only is it pretty ugly and not aesthetically pleasing, but it can harbor bacteria as well, so we wanna make sure to get that off. The second pan we have here has a rainbow tint. Sometimes it's called a heat tint. It will not affect the performance whatsoever. It's just something that happens once you heat the pan. And if you're like me, I want my pan totally pristine, so I'm gonna teach you how to take care of that as well. And lastly, I have a great example of what happens if you only focus on the inside of the pan and you neglect the base. But it's okay, I have a technique that's gonna get this cleaned up and looking like it's fresh out of the box. But first, let's start with this pan here. First thing I'm gonna do is take this over to the sink, get some water in it. Then I'm gonna take it over to the stove, very easy. Now what I'm gonna do is put about three tablespoons of white vinegar. I'm gonna go ahead Add some heat here. I got it sitting at about medium. I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer, then let it go for about five minutes and then come check on it. We've been simmering for about five minutes now. What I'm gonna do is actually cut the heat and then I'm gonna use this wooden utensil and kind of move around some of these mineral deposits. I'm gonna let this cool completely. Then I'm gonna take it over to the sink, wash it out with some soap and water and we should be good to go. All right, now look at this. If you remember what it looked like, we had mineral deposits all over this beauty, but now it's spick and span. We're gonna go ahead and dry this off. This one looks great, I'm happy with it. Now we're gonna move on to pan number two. The pan with the rainbow tint. This one's very easy. All you're gonna need, sponge and a little bit of white vinegar. First step, I'm gonna take a little bit of vinegar, pour it directly into the pan. You're gonna take your sponge and very easily wipe it in. Any area that you saw that had a rainbow tint, you're gonna to wanna to make sure and cover that with the sponge itself, work it in. All right, so we're pretty much done. All I'm gonna do is take this over to the sink, rinse it out, and we'll be right back. So I'm gonna bring this back, dry this off. This one's looking great, I'm totally happy with it. Now we're on to the last pan. Pan number three, the dirty, neglected backside. If your pan looks like this, it's okay. I'm gonna take care of you. I got some ingredients that you probably have at home. Now, if you have our Make It Like New Cleaner, go ahead and use that. But for this, I'm gonna go ahead and use this white vinegar that we have and this baking soda and make a paste. First, I'm gonna add the baking soda, all right? I say about half and half. Now, the vinegar. Now, I'm just gonna mix it in kind of make itself into a paste. Now, the reason why a paste is important, and it's much easier to make a paste than to uh, pour it on directly, is because um, you're gonna be able to get coverage that you need, and you're gonna be able to get that paste to stick onto the pan itself. All right, so this is the consistency that I'm going for. The goal here is we want something that's gonna be able to stick onto the pan without it totally sliding off, all right? And this is why creating a paste is very important. I'm gonna take this over to the sink and get to work on this. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this paste and start working into the base. Apply it directly to the sponge. It's gonna save you a lot of time. So now that I have it sitting on the base, what I'm gonna do is just let it sit in the sink for about a minute. That's all I need. And then I'm gonna come back to it and finish scrubbing. So this has been sitting for about a minute. Um, what I'm gonna do is just start scrubbing. I'm not gonna wash this off yet. Um, I'm gonna actually take the same sponge and just start scrubbing the base. Now I'm gonna just keep adding paste here and doing the same thing. So for just a little bit of leverage, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right on the counter itself and let the handle kind of hang off just like this. And now I'm in the perfect position, right? Whew. 
hey, you know, never told you you wouldn't need a little bit of elbow grease. It's all right. It's gonna make you appreciate washing it and taking care of that backside. It's looking pretty doggone good. You'll notice this side looks different than this side. There's still some oil on there that needs to get worked on. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop worrying about the, the base and start worrying about the interior now. Put a little paste on there. And we'll be back in one minute. Been sitting here for about a minute. I'm gonna wash this thing off just a little bit, see what we're working with. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I'll finish up with some soap and water and then we'll be good to go. All right, let's dry this off and see where we are. I'm already happy with this, okay? I was a little bit nervous, but I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Look at this backside of this pan. It's beautiful, right? Even the inside, we have some oil that was caked on. All that is gone. I'm very pleased with this. And if you have a pan that looked like this one before, just know vinegar, baking soda is gonna really do the job. These things are absolutely beautiful. Do you remember what they looked like before? I don't, they're blinging, my eyes hurt, but I know that they're absolutely beautiful. I can hang them up, right? Show them off. But most importantly, now I know with these tips and tricks, they will last a lifetime. And actually I have one more pro tip for you. I wanna talk about pitting. What is pitting? Pitting happens when undissolved salts actually sit on the stainless clad pan itself, right? It sits on the surface and makes little divots in your pan. Now those divots can cause rusting and it will never be the same. How do we avoid this? If you're looking at adding finishing salts to your dish, go ahead and wait till it's out of the pan and already sitting on your plate and then you're good to go. If you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like it, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and hit us in the comment box below. Once again, I'm Steve from Made In. We'll catch you next time.